Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host, Ghani, and today we are here with my blind reaction to Sympho Gear G, episode 7. So, last time we finally came back to Sympho Gear after a bit of time off, and uh, yeah, we continued off of where we left off with Hibiki getting her arm eaten. Right off of her body, lots of blood, uh, surprising amounts of blood. <laughs> really fucked up. But it also caused her to go insane, go into her rage mode, uh, rage kitty thing, rar, And uh, she healed her arm with the power of her Sympho gear, somehow. But it also caused, uh, it also caused the revelation that her Sympho gear fusing with her body is basically giving her super cancer. And she is dying. We know that she's not going to die. She is the main character of this series. She is not dying. Like, they've already pulled that shit with us at the very beginning of the series. Um, so we know she's going to survive. We just have no fucking clue how. It's going to be interesting to see, though. But we also see that the villains, uh, Maria and them are starting to second-guess their mother's orders. And it even seems like their mother, who, again, not actual mother, but um, it seems like even she understands that what they're doing is wrong, but maybe feels like that they're too far gone, that this is something that needs to be done. It, it's one of those classic, the villains think they're doing the right things kind of deal. Um, she she seems to actually wish that uh, the, these girls didn't need to do this and notes that they're too nice for this and everything. But, you know, she's still going to go along with the plan because it's the plan. Got to go with the plan. I don't know why I keep saying the plan like that. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where this all kind of goes. Um... I don't know, it's just... I, I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out. But, uh, that's what we're here to find out. So, let's just get into this and see what we have in store. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in... Everything for that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, all of that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. We're back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. This series stresses me out, man. This is why I had to take a break halfway through because it's like this series just is so stressful and, and it's because of how much it endears me to its characters um partially because of the entire trauma thing i've talked about this before but obviously with um with uh you know having a connection to that kind of thing even if not the same kinds of trauma by any means um, it's just characters who go through this and who are very clearly, you know, written to be super likable and, and everything. It's just, when you put them in stressful situations like this, it, it just, my heart gets racing and I just like, I have anxiety issues as it is. Like, I, I, I genuinely have anxi real anxiety issues, like actual, like, mental illness anxiety issues, not just, like, regular level by any means. And because of my autism as well, I tend to, like, not just hyper fixate on things, but, like, get really attached to characters, like, more than ordinary, which... Makes it very painful <laughs> sometimes because, uh, 
Because if I get too attached to a character and something happens, I get really, like, really upset. And I, I don't mean, like, just, like, angry or, or, or I, I feel down or something. Like, it actually affects me mentally and not just emotionally. It's it's something that it, it it's a genuine issue to where it like actually like strongly causes me a lot of pain and a lot of uh, a lot of emotional damage. Let's just put it that way. Um, it, it's something that I I have no way of stopping either because it's not something I do. It's 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 completely passive. It's something that just happens whether I want it to or not. And so that's why, like, I get so, like, emotional and, and loud and why I, like, am, like, practically screaming here for these kids to be okay. Because it's like, I, I am so actively stressed, so actively anxious when shit like this happens. It just, it sends me into panic mode, like genuine fight or flight response just bursting forth as so I, I i'm just i'm trying to make it clear here that it's like this is like i i i i don't know what it's like for other people i just i can't because of my own experiences but i feel like i i experience this kind of stuff a lot stronger than normal people than <laughs> neurotypical people and it's it's something that I think neurotypical people or even other neurodivergents who don't experience this, I, I feel like it's something that that just won't be fully understood because well you're not experiencing it just like I can't fully understand your own experiences. But it's just like when when I go through this, it's so painful. It is so actively painful. Because again, um, and it's partially due to my autism as well, I, I get super attached to characters really easily. Especially if they're characters that, you know, I can identify with to almost any level. So if I see something bad happen to them, I get really, really anxious. If it's delivered in a, like a more comical or, or 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 less intense way, I can usually handle it a little better. But with shit like this, it's like this series is so actively intense and and in just stressful constantly. That's why I took the break, and again, that's why I I, I keep saying, why can't we have just an episode, a single full episode off from this shit? I, I'm I'm. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be entertaining for you when I say this shit. I'm genuinely that stressed out where it's like I want an episode that just isn't going to make my heart race like this. And it's the sa it's the same reasons that I'm so that, that I get so fucking vitriolic vit, vit vitriolically angry at Dr. Ver. He is so actively evil. Like, more so than any other character we've seen in this season. All the other uh, members of Fine, the organization, not the person, are um, not bad people. In fact, they're good people doing bad things because they feel it's necessary to save the world. They're committing acts of terrorism because they... Feel that it's the only thing they can do. But we've seen time and time again that they're not bad people. Both Kirika and Shirabe, I think that's their names, uh, Dark Magician Girl and Goth Hatsune Miku, um, they, are, uh, they are very clearly questioning everything they're being told. And you even see in this episode when Hibiki saves them, by diverting the energy of the um, the superb songs, you even see Shirabe question. It's like, w was she saving us? But why? It's like they don't understand because they've been raised like this, and it's just it's all they know. And, and these babies need to be protected. And I'm I'm getting emotional again.
season one gave us a good blend of the intense serious shit and some more slice of life character building and whatnot it allowed us to get into the intense stuff without it overwhelming us but this season has just been non-stop stress and pain and just so much that i have had a hard time handling and I, I, we're not taking another break i i want to make that clear i'm not i'm not gonna like say oh i need to take another break from no if anything we might take a week or two off at most but we're not taking another full break But I'm not going to lie that this is stressful for me. I'm not going to lie, this is a lot for me to handle. Like I said, I, I have genuine mental issues. I have genuine mental illnesses, and I don't handle shit like this well. I don't handle pressure or stress or anything like that well at all. So, going through this, it, 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 it leaves me in a negative state. And the weirdest part about it is that the, the reason it's leaving me in a negative state is because of how positively I am receiving this series. Because of how intensely good this show is, something I really didn't expect going when I went into this. I, I have talked about that plenty time and time again, that I really did not expect this, to like this series at all. And now I'm getting this stressed out about it because I'm this invested in it. I am this invested in the characters and the story and... While some things I might not fully comprehend or grasp, and some things I might need to be reminded of time and time again, it's like, I'm still invested. And again, I want to see these characters make it out of these situations okay, and the fact that uh, Kirika might now be revealed to have Fine inside her, the person, not the organization, is, is just more added stress Hibiki's already dying and now you're adding this stress on top of that I don't know I, I don't think I could react to more than one of these in a week I don't think I don't think my heart could handle it I'm not even kidding with the entire thing about when I'm saying like my heart is like starts beating really fast with this. It's like I it is so stressful. Like I am like my heart is racing really fast right now. I'm just trying to kind of like calm myself down as best I can. But I just keep thinking about the episode because we're in the afterthoughts and I'm supposed to be talking about the episode. Obviously, don't spoil me, but I really hope Dr. Ver dies. Like, um, there is nothing redeemable about him. And th even the way at the end, he's he's listening in to, 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 to the mother telling Maria that, oh, you don't have an ounce of Fine's soul in you. He's like, that can't be good. The way the, you look at him, he's behind the tree. He's in the shadows. He's listening in it. It focuses on the fact that he's listening in. That's not good. That's a bad sign. I know anime. I know just shows and games and stuff in general. You see something like that. That's a bad sign. I don't like that. That scares me. Let's not do that, please. He is a detestable piece of absolute human dog shit. And I don't want to... I don't want to even think about what he's thinking about here.
Tell me your thoughts on this episode in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Connie. I'm signing off. I need some alcohol. See y'all next time.